How do scientists figure out the age of ancient bones or artifacts? They use a brilliant technique called radiocarbon dating. This method measures carbon-14, a rare radioactive form of carbon that naturally exists in all living things. Here's how it works. Carbon-14 is formed in the atmosphere when high-energy cosmic rays hit nitrogen atoms, transforming them into this radioactive carbon isotope. Unlike regular carbon, carbon-12, carbon-14 has two extra neutrons and is unstable, meaning it slowly breaks down back into nitrogen over time. Its half-life, the time it takes for half of it to disappear, is 5,730 years. Living creatures constantly absorb both carbon-12 and carbon-14, without knowing the difference. But when something dies, it stops absorbing carbon. While the stable carbon-12 remains unchanged, the carbon-14 starts to decay. By comparing the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 in a dead organism with that in a living one, scientists can calculate how long it's been since it died. Here's the math. If the ratio shows half as much carbon-14 as a living organism, it died around 5,730 years ago. If it's one-fourth, then it's about 11,460 years old. With just one-eighth, the age is roughly 17,190 years. However, after about 60,000 years, there's so little carbon-14 left that this method stops being effective. So from ancient fossils to old wooden tools, radiocarbon dating unlocks the timeline of our planet's past, one atom at a time. It's like a time machine for scientists.